How's it going everyone? I am the Dungeon Meister and welcome back to the table. And we are back on Life is Strange today. We are going to be finishing out the last bit of episode 2. I'm not entirely sure how much longer is left. Um, I don't think there's a whole lot, so this will probably be a shorter we both episode. Need time but... here. Let's go ahead and just get right into it. I still can't believe you pulled a gun on Frank. That was epic. Oh yeah, we did do that, it didn't we? awful. I'm glad there was no bullets in there. You can just rewind time in your hand and stick that barrel right at Frank's ass. You have the power! You're gross. Don't fall. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. That can't At least be comfy. Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? Like it, they they make it. Yeah, I'm a little freaked out, but like they make that look like I'm it's comfy. I'm still freaked out about what happened. But there's no way that's comfy. That is that, that is a awful, railroad Chloe. track. I'm sorry. That is steel. But Frank isn't They're as laying on steel. Comes. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, did you see what just happened? I almost shot him. I know I could rewind, but Chloe, this is not playtime. No more guns. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers, he's just a dealer, where I get my weed. The one in your joint, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Hung out? You don't mean you... Ah, oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? Uh, I don't know. My brain hurts. I don't know anymore. My brain is so fried from all of this. I need a mental enema. Uh, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the beat poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Perfect. Ah! Okay, okay, I could do this. I can't even move it an inch. Awesome, it's not locked. Oh man, not wires. I better find a tool to cut those wires. A tool? Please, get me out of here! Okay, um. Oh, up here, right? Max! 
I'm working on it, Chloe, okay? Shit, I can't budget at all. Okay, well, that didn't work. Uh, uh, break a window, just climb it, just break a window. The coming. Back, yeah, I'm working on it. Uh, oh, crowbar. A crowbar? This is, I can definitely use this bad boy. Oh, you're fucked. Oh. Damn, something is blocking the drum. Max! Working on it again. I don't know. This looks way too heavy. And right. The train's coming! Max, please! Now I can finally move the drum. Come on, Max. Come on, Max. Use your freakishly strong strength. Get me out of here, Max. Please. I have to help lift Chloe up. All right, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Quickly. Holy shit. Damn. That was close. You saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bombing for life. You okay? I got splinters in my ass and leg, so I wish there was a less violent way for you to save me. And now the trains can't get to the lumber mill. Oops. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Aww. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Yeah, I don't see I how. It. It's so friggin' random. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours, and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? Uh... Uh, it means shit happens, right? No, crazy shit happens. Because it can. And will. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. Enter the Vortex Club. I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. Oh, Principal Wells. I swear, Principal Wells always looks distressed. Like Sir? Ah, hello, Max. Outfit. Would you like to tell me what you wouldn't yesterday? There was just a lot going on, with the fire alarm and everything. Yes, but you were distracted by something else. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. Oh, good. I saw Mr. Madsen hassle Kate Marsh yesterday. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. You won't tell me the truth about yesterday, but you want to tell me the truth about Mr. Madsen. It sounds more like sour grapes. Excuse me now. Yeah, whatever. Some principal you are. 
What's up, Trevor? Trevor surveys his domain. Uh, eh, gross. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? Yes, it was. You know that marijuana is almost legal in Oregon. I can get it at Blackwell. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you. But it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. But you treat Kate pretty bad. You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, uh -huh. including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. If my tornado vision came true, it would be the end of the world. I should feel lucky to be here. Mm. These elite assholes throw a lot of big parties. Another chance for Nathan Prescott to dose somebody. Join us, or die. Or die. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I'm not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Hey, you ain't gotta be so rude hey, to Courtney. me. Ciao, Mac. Really? Oh, like you care. I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. Well, thanks. That snow was so mm. insane. Mm. Seriously. There's old Samuel. Hello, climate old Samuel just be dust in the same spot over and over again. Gotta make the floor clean enough so that you see the future. That's what old Samuel thinks. And old Samuel ain't never wrong, Max. Uh, okay, they're not important people. Oh, Zachary. Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sex in Victoria. It's over. Let it go. It's over. Just another Blackwell mini-drama. You mean stupid shit. Man, I just don't get Victoria. What does she want? Probably for all of us to talk about her. Like now. Then let's not. <laughs> You're pretty smart, Max. See you at the game Friday. Oh, for sure, bro. Uh, Justin! I can't talk Justin to Justin always looks stoned. Because he probably is. Okay, well, I think that's everybody in there. Oh, good. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. I guess. Luke is always using the phone as a shield to avoid people. Because he's smart. That reminds me. Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. I really hope this jackass will use protection next time. Damn. Yes, this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. That's how it works though, right? 
Yo, Maxwell Smart. Talk later, cool? So you can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. Okay. Hey. What do you want from me? I just, I just want, I just want to talk. Do you want to talk? Please, leave me alone. Okay. All right. Well, if you do want to talk, I'm, I'm right here. Yo, what's up, Miss Grant? Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. Weird, Thanks okay. again for taking a stand against camera surveillance here. Every signature counts. How's your campaign going? You signed the petition, now it's your campaign too. Thanks for stepping up. More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. I know. I really hope you keep those cameras from taking over Blackwell. Max, with students like you, we sure will. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You must know Mr. Jefferson pretty well by now. I certainly know him as a talented artist and terrific teacher. I've been here a little longer, but he's made a bigger mark. I have to say, I mean, it's, it's not in his quite name, autumn right? enough yet. His name's Mark. You get it? What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Okay. Yeah, what's up, Warren? I'll be with you in just a second. We'll go talk to Brooke. Howdy, Brooke. Howdy. Hi, Max. Think. Making your daily what rounds? You think? How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already this planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. So long. Oh, man, what are you doing Bring over here? Bring me the brain, Igor. What are you doing? Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. For what? What are you what are you doing? Tell me tell me Warren, more. Warren, this seems kind of dangerous. You might as well flip a switch, Frankenstein. I'm the only mad scientist without a faithful Igor. I'll choose using the scientific method. Heeny, meeny, miny, mo. Potassium. Well, this, this can't be good. Weird science. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. That's a minor fail. Okay, well. Hey, Axel the Have Hammer. Lots of potassium. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. Oh, this, this. Oh, no. Oh, I'm going to kill this man. Woo! She blinded me with science. I don't want to laugh, but he looks so hilarious. Yes! That was a blast! But, let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Cool. Da Vinci was a boss. Is it raining? Oh, it is. Nice. You know, I want to look at the periodic table. Oh. 
I can go around. Nice. A periodic table. <sighs> wish I knew what periodic means. I wish I could bring a mini Warren with me to my science exams. That's kind of weird. All right, Mr. Jefferson, let's speak. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. Rachel was nothing like Kate. And Principal Wells said you had something on your mind you wouldn't tell him. You care to share? Mm, no. Not right now. I'll tell you everything as soon as I figure it out. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Yes. Hmm? Can I eavesdrop? Uh-huh. What you talking about? Huh? Am I too close? Sure, okay. Does it bother you? You told me to leave and I'm standing right Listen, here. Listen, I do have a class I have to teach. I have to go. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll do that. Ooh. Getting a little antsy. Oh, Who are you? I know. That makes sense. Who are you talking to? Huh? Huh? Is it your girlfriend? Mm-mm. Seriously, I have to hang up now. Let's talk about this later. We'll talk later, okay? I have to go. Because I can't have this conversation with you right now, okay? Would you please just hang up the phone? Ooh. Okay. Maybe this is girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think it's just repeating now. I think we're back uh -huh. at the beginning. All right. I'm, sure. Okay. I'm leaving. Stella! Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. Dina, you are out of control. Turn left. It's hard to not like Hayden because he just doesn't give a shit. I'm kind of doing something now, Max. Uh-huh. Oh, what unfortunate thing's about to happen to you this time, Melissa? I'm about to take your photo. That's the unfortunate thing that's about to happen to you. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. Oh, okay. Melissa really lives for her classes. Daniel! What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. I hope you liked the sketch I did of you yesterday. I love it. Love. And it's my new avatar. Excellent. I got tons of likes on FB. Ah, made you blush. Shut up. 
Someday your portrait may hang in the Daniel de Costa wing of the Louvre. We'll talk about it later. Perfect. I don't know what that means, but... That's a great sketch of Dana. Daniel is the real deal. Yo, what's up, Dana? Get your thing on. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson, like he gives a shit. Like anybody does. Max is such a little... Shh, I think she can hear us. Yeah, I mean, I'm like standing two feet next to you. I'll talk to you in just a second. No time to talk, Max. Art in progress. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Okay. Oh, that means I gotta talk to these losers. Here comes the mysterious Max, disguised as a pixie hipster. Like all the other precious twee artists here, you really nailed me. Meow! Bring out the claws! I love seeing chicks fight. Right. Can I sit at my table now? Max thought we were going to be buds. Fucking ha ha. <laughs> Assholes. Man, I should have been a bitch to Victoria earlier. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. Bro, you look like even more of a doofus than usual. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. I'll see we have a lot to cover today and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. No smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. Oops. Uh, I never brought out all over the world for people to judge. Usually, people need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the it. syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of Although photo tips. See in Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. <laughs> Dismissed. <laughs> you see that? Is this for real? Pitch flipped out. I didn't think she was that messed up. She can't die. She can't. Not again. Not now. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again.
it's everything's frozen in time. Hey, Kate, I'm coming. I'm coming. Yes. doing here max stop don't come near me not now it won't work i don't have any power now i have to do this by myself max seriously don't come near me i will jump okay okay i'm right here kate please oh max i know you want to help me i love that you stepped up to david but it doesn't matter now nothing matters You matter. You matter. And not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. Like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. Are you serious? Thank you so much. The fact that you don't care about that video and would come up here to stop me means a lot. I care about you because I believe you were drugged. We will find out who did this and make them pay. You sound so persuasive, Max. If only... Kate, I believe you. Will you believe me? Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm horny on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Yay! Forever. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. What? You, ju you just said you'll come with me. Okay. I mean, your dad cares, right? He wrote you nice letters? Kate, I saw that card from your father. You can count on him. He clearly loves you without question. Dad does care, even though I hurt him. He's the only one I know who believes in me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. Oh, poor Kate. I'm glad she didn't yeet herself off the roof, though. Now, I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. 
Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah. Real hero. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. No, I still don't trust you. However, I am absolutely going to rat Nathan out. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? Hey, that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Wait, Max. You told me that nothing happened yesterday. Are you just making things up? How can I trust you? You can't. She's smoking and selling dope, not saving lives. No, I'm not. And that has nothing to do with Kate Marsh. I'll have to investigate to see if this accusation is true. Therefore, Max, I'm obliged to contact your parents and suspend you for a few days. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this form Thank right you. now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Nope. I'm sticking to my guns. Maybe next time Nathan will throw himself Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Ever! You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. <laughs> All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. Bruh. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? 
What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. Bruh. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. I mean, shoot your shot if you got it right, but... Get the hell away from me. <laughs> oh, does he feel bad? Maybe he wasn't such a frickin' douche. Mr. Jefferson? It is. Talking to the principal? I knew it. The principal is sketchy. Victoria feel bad now too? That dude pulled a knife on us, but anybody who treats dogs like, you know, like a good person, like I, 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 I believe they have the ability to Uh, but yeah, anyone who's nice to dogs, I, I believe that they are, at their heart, a good person. So, even though I tried to shoot him, I'm, I'm not convinced that, like, he's not trustworthy. I'm happy that we were able to, to keep Kate alive though, because if you screw up answering the questions and you answer them wrong, she will just straight up jump and you can't uh, you can't reverse time. Ooh, what's going on here? Kate Marsh. Ominous. All right. Well, that is the end of episode two. Um, I skipped, uh, I cut the video short last time we hit the end of an episode, but there's actually at the end here, um, there's actually stats that tells me how I matched up against... Uh, like everyone else who's played the game, like through all the the major decisions. So uh, I was the underdog telling Kate to go to the police. Uh, a majority uh, answered Kate's call, tried to shoot Frank. Oh, oh, majority of people did save Kate. Okay. Um, and majority of people blamed Nathan. Yeah, of course, because that dude's a freaking douche. I watered the plant. Nice. Helped Alyssa erase the link. Oh, more people were mean to Taylor, huh? And I, uh, I rejected Warren. Sorry, dude. Not, I'm not feeling it. Uh, didn't write a message. I think I must have just missed that because I don't remember that. Uh, I tampered with the rail tracks. Could I have not tampered? Oh, I guess I could have done the wire thing. I guess I, I didn't get a tool to cut the wires. I just kind of uh, smashed it. My bad. Uh, Gain entry to the Vortex Club party. I didn't help Warren. 
I thought I did. Isn't that what I did? Or was that giant explosion? I mean, he was pretty chill about it. And I told on David to Mr. Jefferson. And this, he, these are my stats from last chapter. Okay, so that is going to be it for this episode. So in the next video, we will be starting episode three. So there are five altogether. So we are uh, coming up on halfway through it. The game is not super long, but uh, it is pretty good and one of my favorites. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track Keep my head up, staying strong, always moving on Feel I don't belong, tell my thoughts to move along